A heartbroken man is remembering his fiance. She died when a man accused of driving drunk crashed into their car. The man and his fiance were supposed to marry on March 22nd. Now he's planning Maria Guerrero's funeral. She died early Sunday morning when police say 27-year-old Leroy Rito Jr. crashed into the couple's car on Memorial Boulevard at 39th Street in Port Arthur. They had stopped at a light. Rito is jailed on charges of intoxication manslaughter and intoxication assault. Fox 4's Leslie Rangel shares the story of a man impacted by the collision who says he's left with a broken, empty heart. That's tonight's Top Story. I met her two years ago, and we got along well. Next month, we were going to get married because she wanted to have a child. Only memories remain for Facundo Mondragon, of his fiance who died at the hands of a suspected drunk driver. That day, we had gone to pick out our wedding invitations for our wedding on the 22nd. We already paid the venue. Then she wanted to visit her friends in Port Arthur. A trip from Beaumont to Port Arthur, the same city where they were set to get married. That night, she was still inviting all her friends. She was telling them they couldn't miss her wedding. Mondragon says they left her friend's house late because they'd lost track of time. He rode in the passenger seat. Some five minutes before, I told her I was sleepy, and she said it's fine. Sleep because you have to go to work tomorrow. I laid back, and when I woke up, I just heard her scream. A sound he says will haunt him forever. Sometimes I feel that I should have gone with her. A pain for a lost love. In just a short time, that driver ended everything we had planned. An unfinished plan with a pain that nothing can repair. I tell all my friends who were helping me with the wedding, Now they have to help me bury my bride. In Beaumont, Leslie Rangel, Fox 4 News. Guerrero leaves behind three children. Family and friends are asking for help with funeral expenses. You can find more information on fox4beaumont.com.